This guy's pulling up. Racing the ladies over here. Oh! Oh god, this is amazing. Oh, they're passing us. We gotta catch up. At, and we're going to a pit stop. Oh, that's so clever. And now the new people are already loaded up and waiting for us. I mean, this... It's so brilliant how he's done this. Wow. This, to me, mechanically, is one of the best coasters I've ever seen. In terms of, like, using the mechanics. He has incorporated a dual synchronized coaster into one track with three different blocking sections that run seamlessly. To top it off, it has an amazing design. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny5 Alive here. Happy New Year. We did it. 2017. Today, we're going to be kicking things off with a bang. We're doing a coaster spotlight today for Monday. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the dual Foxy's Racing Track by Riddler Revenge 75. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, I hope you guys had a happy new year. I hope you guys also had a great year. Let's um, let's dive right into this one today. I'm pretty excited about this. So this is another one by Riddler Revenge 75. He's been featured on my channel twice now and we're we're steam friends now and he gave me a sneak peek of this last week so we, we we talked about it and he said he would launch it monday and i said i would switch park spotlight with coaster spotlight just to get this thing a video as quickly as possible one thing that was cool we were talking about he actually took he drew inspiration from my foxy's cafe over here this is one of my steam workshop sci-fi items and um you can actually see some similarities the way the glass and the overhang was used the fat pillars just uh the little arches and stuff you can see little elements of that incorporated into his design now i love this thing because <laughs> it's okay part of me wants to call it foxy's raceway it, it reminds me of something straight out of mario go-kart or i don't i don't know i just there's so many nice little elements to this that i'm absolutely in love with so this, I just took a look at it. I haven't ridden it yet. So we're gonna save that for the, uh, I've been waiting to save that for you guys here. Yeah, part of me wants to call this Foxy's Raceway, sort of like a, a Mario go-kart kind of name, like Donkey Kong's Raceway and you know, all that jazz. But this is Foxy's Racing Track and there's so many cool elements to this. But before we start getting a closer look at it, let's, this is Riddler Revenge's 75's workshop the dual Foxy's racing track. It was just launched today, January 2nd. This is very cool. Come give this a rating, favorite it, subscribe to it. You guys are gonna love this, I think. Um, now, if you're unaware of Riddler Revenge, in, in my personal opinion, he's one of my favorite coaster creators. That seems to be his niche. The only things that are really on his workshop are coasters, and they are all top quality. I've already seen Riddler Revenge go up a hundred followers in the last week. Come over here, follow this guy. Let's get him up to 500 guys. He does some amazing coasters. I really love it. His uh, Tesla has been featured on the show. His Inferno has been featured on the show. And he's also submitted Vampire, which is also waiting to get on the show. And I still want to cover a few of his other ones. So that's his workshop. Come check it out, guys. All right, let's take a better look at things. I haven't opened it up yet, but what I want to show you guys before we actually start looking at the scenery i think it's good to just explain something to you because i i was at first i thought this was two coasters because i'm i think there's a way to upload two coasters into one blueprint i think i've seen that before so at first you know he was telling me how much he was struggling to get this thing to work and he gave me a sneak peek of it earlier and when he did that i thought he had two coasters running on this thing so now that I opened it up and did a test, I wanted to see what was kind of going on here. And I can understand now why he was having so many troubles. So what happens is one coaster gets launched out of the station here and it, it goes into this launch track. It waits for a second and then it, it kicks off with a launch. So this one's racing by itself, but it's just basically doing a practice run at this point. So it's going to do a dry run by itself, and then once it gets all the way around its track, it's going to line up, and then this one comes out of the station as this one's coming around. 
So this second one that's just coming in now, this guy is actually coming in to duel this coaster, but it's already done a dry run on the track. So this is this is such a cool concept. Now they're lined up. Then the sirens go off, the countdown begins, and boom! These guys shoot off and they start racing around the track. So now the, the first one that's coming out that was supposed to be doing the dry run is actually racing the coaster that just did the dry run. So amazing synchronization. I, I mean, I absolutely love this. They're so well synchronized. It's, it's absolutely amazing. This blows my mind. So now we have that one finishing the run. And then this one that just dueled it is coming in to duel the next guy. So the people who just got on this coaster are now dueling the, the people that just did the first, uh, that were just, these guys were just in the left lane. So when you get to ride this coaster, you get to ride the left lane and then you get a race in the right lane. Very cool. I mean, this is absolutely brilliant. I can't praise this enough. This is genius. So that's how it works. We're gonna we're gonna open it up in a second. We might as well open it up now. We can take a look at the results as well. So the excitement is only a five, but that's because there's wait times. So because we have these blocking stations to time it out and synchronize these coasters properly, that means the people have to wait at this station and then they're gonna have to wait at this station, which is gonna usually lower your uh, excitement rating when you have wait times on coasters. So that's totally forgivable. I mean, I think, you know, it's gonna be impossible to have a high excitement rating with the mechanics of this coaster is what I'm trying to say. So this is absolutely awesome rating in my opinion considering what this is accomplishing. So we're gonna open it up, let the people start pouring on while we take a look at everything. So. We got this really cool cafe built into this and now there's some really cool structural designs about this. So some of you may know this, but you you can't normally build blocks on a 45 degree angle. So if, if we just edit this building here and take a piece out, we can only build on these uh, 90 degree angles. We can't build at a 45 degree angle. So what he's done is he's created a new building at the 45 degree angle to make this nice angular shape so the actual architectural structure of this thing is absolutely phenomenal now just to point this out riddler i have to do that sorry you do have a you had a bug there with some flickering you could take this wall and bring it over oh maybe not i see why you had that there that's unfortunate and one here you can delete that guy all right sorry I had to get that out of the way anyways this building is absolutely amazing in terms of design because we have all these different angular shapes going together and he, I, I can see why this was a pain in the butt to get built so you have a coffee shop on the side here it's like a nice Starbucks style coffee shop with two coffee shops in there and then you got one in here very cool and uh, we got hedges gardens I put these little entertainment stands down for Foxy to hang out at and uh, we got this really cute uh, this really cool queue going up over the bridge now this queue I have to say was a really difficult queue to set up because um, the way he has it here is it it goes up and it turns and you can't turn the stairs so it looks a little bit funky, but I ended up getting it to work. Um, but that's just because there wasn't much space to work with. But I got it to work. It was a little bit tricky. And then they come into here. And then they're getting into the raceway. And it's got a very nice boarding station. Love the designs, the colors, all the uh, Street Fox coffee signs. Very cool love this building and I love all these raceway uh, signs Foxy's racing very cool and then we have the stands here just for for looks 
the duel. Was I supposed to run the Q over here? I might have messed things up. I might... Oh, I see. You might have to wrap it down and pass the bleachers and out here. I might have messed it up. Nonetheless, I just cut it short, I guess. And then over here we have the exit. Very cool. Lots of uh, trees and plants. I mean, I love this thing. This is so pretty. Looks amazing. One of my favorite placeable coasters. Truly a great design. Well done, Riddler Revenge. Now we're going to give this thing a ride. I almost forgot. Before we ride it, let's take a look at this thing at nighttime. Oh, wow. And look at that. Triggered events for the lights. They, uh... Goes from yellow... Red, or red, yellow, green. And then all these little stand lights light up. Wow, that is so cool. I just love the, the red glow of everything. You got flashing lights. Oh, I guess that's people taking pictures. Oh, that's really clever. Oh, that's so clever. Now everything is caffeine powered. I love that theme. Such a good idea. Caffeine powered. I love me some coffee, guys, so I'm super biased. And I also love Riddle Revenge's work. I'm a super fanboy. So I'm a super fan of Foxy Coffee. And uh, look at that. Oh, so good. Love me some coffee. Love Riddle of Revenge's workshop and coasters. So I'm super biased. I'm fanboying out here. This is amazing. I think we're going to ride this thing at nighttime. It looks so good at nighttime. I mean, maybe we should do one of each. Let's just do that. Let's have fun. All right. So we're on the first coaster here with this guy. Hey, how's it going? Nice chops. Those are the new chops that came with the winter update. Love it. This guy's pulling out. Racing the ladies over here. Oh! Oh god, this is amazing. I love how they're like intertwining with one another. Oh, they're passing us. We gotta catch up. Oh, this is so cool. My god. Wow. So now they're getting off the ride. And there's another one loading up. At, and we're going to a pit stop. Oh, that's so clever. And now the new people are already loaded up and waiting for us. I mean, this... It's so brilliant how he's done this. Wow. That is so brilliant. This is so freaking cool. My god. wild so now we're getting off and these guys have already loaded up and they're waiting to race these guys that are passing us in the pit stop so I, I believe this thing has three coasters running at all times one two three so they're already this is I can't praise this enough how genius these um, block sections are done I mean, by the time one coaster finishes, another one's loaded up and ready to go to race the next cart. So there is, he's reduced the wait times as much as possible. It's, it's so clever. Look at this, they're loading up and this race is gonna be finished and these guys are gonna be waiting. I can see how he was uh, having some tr struggles getting this to work because I mean, this is amazing. Mo one of the most ingenious designs I've ever seen when it comes to mechanics of a coaster. This being one track and it works the way it does. It's, it's so genius. 
I mean, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. Okay, we're going to ride this guy at nighttime now. Oh, this looks so good at nighttime. Got all the mist and stuff. You ready? Got to check out these lights. Oh! Oh, this is so good at nighttime. My god. Wow. Caffeine power. That is wild. So good. Into the pit stop. And I love how you, when you buy, you, you pay to ride the coaster, you essentially get to race twice. It's so clever. And, oh. I'm speechless. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. I, I, I honestly just can't get over the fact that they load up another coaster so seamlessly. I mean, you're racing around, all you're doing is thinking about your, your race or whatever, and you're pulling into the second lane. And these guys are like brand new uh, guests, and you don't even notice it. It's just, it's so seamless how they're loading up new people while you're just focused on what you're doing in your race and you're, you know, experiencing the, uh, the, the raceway. And then you, you pull up and there's more ready to go. And then, I mean, it's so seamless. I, I have to say it again, this, it, to me, mechanically is one of the best coasters I've ever seen in terms of like using the mechanics. He has incorporated a dual synchronized coaster into one track with three different blocking sections that run seamlessly. I mean, I don't even have the words to explain how amazing that is and how difficult that would have been. To top it off, it has an amazing design. I love all the colors, it feels like a raceway, the camera's going off, the all the triggered events, the, the stands, the, the arching plat, uh, what do you call it, the walkways arching over the actual station itself with the, the countdown lights, and then we have a coffee shop built into the side. Um, yeah, and you're racing through this nice little forest. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing blows my mind this is this is definitely one of my favorite placeable coasters any modern or sci-fi park needs this in their parks oh my god it's so good I mean I could just sit here and play with this for hours this is great I can't wait to put this in one of my parks this is so good absolutely love it well done Riddler Revenge amazing once again, everybody, Riddler Revenge 75's workshop, and this is the, the Dual Foxy's race track, racing track. Uh, come rate this, favorite it, subscribe to it. Let's get it more ratings. It was just released today. Already has 200 downloads. Very cool. And also be sure to follow Riddler Re Revenge because he does some amazing work. And if you like this coaster, you're going to love the other ones as well. And before we leave today, guys, if you have a coaster, ride, park, or workshop Wednesday submission that you would like to see on the show for next week, be sure to send a link to the Steam Workshop download page to channel5gad at gmail.com and I'll have a look at it for next week. We're getting quite a bit of coaster submissions lately. I still need some more ride submissions so we can keep the ride spotlight going along. But this is Planet Coaster after all, so maybe we're just going to have to trim down the ride spotlights. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm Johnny Five Alive, and this is Coaster Spotlight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you guys think of 
Foxy's racing track down in the comments below. All right, everybody. Happy New Year. I will see you in the next video. See ya.